Dr. Marchand Gizzi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about the purpose of color vision, uh, not the specific purpose that I've argued that, you know, in my 2006 paper that we have color vision, uh, red-green vision that we primates have that goes beyond what mammals have is really for seeing emotions on bare skin, emotion states and health. By seeing the oxygenation modulations under the skin, this is what allows, allows us to read emotions and so forth. Um, but more generally, I want to get at an issue that people often ask about concerning uh, my company, Vino Optics. We sell vein finder glasses based on this sort of discovery of mine from 2006, uh, patents that came out of that with Dr. Tim Barber and I. Um, and uh, we've got, so we have got vein finder technology. We have these Freex glasses that just enhance regular old folks can see actually uh, uh, greater signals coming from emotions on bare skin and also color blindness uh, glasses because uh, we can augment the very signal that color deficients are deficient at. But sometimes folks will ask, uh, especially colorblind folks, and they're interested, they say, look, I, well, am I going to see colors the same way that you do? You know, um, I want to see colors the same way I, I, that you do. I want to see colors, all the same kinds of colors. Now, of course, our technology does help them see colors more the way if, if they're color deficient, but not color blind perfectly blind, we can't help them. But the idea is that they have a very, they have a weak red-green sensitivity. We can augment that uh, by augmenting the signal that red-green color vision is for. Um, and so they're going to see things more the way that I see, but that's really not the key thing that you want from a colorblind correction glasses. The key thing is not seeing the colors as I see them, as a color normal. The key to having color vision is seeing color distinctions as I see them. The reason that we have color vision is so that I can see certain kinds of distinctions, certain important things in our evolutionary life, and they might be very subtly different in terms of the spectra, but you want to see them because they're important. You want to see them as qualitatively different in color. Right? I don't want one to be, hey, that's red, and this is a slightly, you know, orangier red when they're qualitatively importantly different things that I have to discriminate. I want it to be the case when there are important differences, I see them as qualitatively different. I see this one as red and this one as green, like seriously different. So that is no, it's completely unambiguous that there's this change concerning what matters. And it's less important that you perceive the things to be the color that I perceive them. What's important is that even if I perceive you know, reds, you know, oxygenated and deoxygenated skin as red and green respectively. Um, suppose that you saw them as blue and yellow instead. Now that might be a little bit weird and, and not ideal, but if you can see them as qualitatively blue and qualitatively yellow, then you can actually perceive and distinguish them rather than just seeing one as blue and then another one as a slightly different shade of blue, which means that you wouldn't be able to distinguish the important distinctions. And that was your science moment. If you're interested in giving a try to our Vino Optics technology, um, go ahead and go to VinoOptics.com. Get colorblindness glasses for your family members. You invariably probably know somebody, potentially in your own family, usually a man who is color deficient. Get them a pair of our Vino Optics glasses. If you've got any medical personnel in your family and friends, get them a pair of our vein, uh, of our vein finder glasses. You just put them on. You've got good white light. No batteries required. If you've got good white light and no glare, you can you have an enhanced view of veins and so forth. And we have also our Freex Sunwear, the only sunwear on earth that augments your ability to see emotions and state on bare skin. And that was your science moment.